What's going on YouTube? Graves in the here and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So, I made a couple of slight adjustments. Let me show you what I did here. So, if you guys recall, in the past we did not have a way to get on to, let's say you're somebody driving from here and wants to get onto this highway here, going out in that way. Uh, in the past, we didn't have a way to get on there. Well, now we do. So what I did is I tweaked this highway road over here. I put an on-ramp that goes all the way around, comes through here to the other side, and voila, you are now on the highway. Same thing, if you're on this side and you wanna get onto this side of the highway and head out that way, you can now do the same thing. You can split off right here, go through here, go under the highway, come through here, and there you are. Naturally, because if you guys recall, we did have some uh, buildings over here. I did have to demolish those to kind of play around with uh, with what uh, what this is going to look like. But, oh, the other thing that, uh, that I did is I hooked up the other train tracks again. Um, I wanted to, um, wanted to kind of see what it would look like, the train tracks coming uh, coming through here. Um, I think it looks, uh, I think it looks good right here. We, we do have to fill this area in with something, but we'll get to that. We most certainly will. The other change of course is uh, now we do have a road that goes from this part of the city and leads into this part of the city. And that's this, uh, little road right over here. In the future, there will be other ways to get from one side to another, but for now, I put that in there for a specific reason. And that specific reason is we are going to build a university campus right over here. So that's what we have for this episode. We are currently at uh, just below 900,000 in the bank. We have about 13 coming in weekly. We are at 15,000 population. Oh, and by the way, I do recall that before we ended the last episode, we hit that 15,000 milestone. So let's go back and see what we have and what we can use right away. So we got a new area. So we'll leave that for now. Um, new buildings, we have four of them. We have the water treatment plant, crematorium, floating garbage collector, and the cryopreservatory. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the water treatment plant. I do wanna implement that as soon as possible. Reasoning behind is, let me show you. Look at this. Our coast is getting polluted with our sewage. And in the future when we wanna expand all the way out here. I want this to be cleared up. So water treatments plant do pollute a little bit less than the um, the regular sewage outflow pipes. And we're gonna place four of those. Uh, a little bit less, but not quite as little as the eco water treatment plants. So. As soon as we get those, we are going to go ahead and place them. Actually, I think we're going to move them somewhere else once we unlock more room. Possibly actually out that way. But for now, they are going to have to stay just right in there. The other thing that we unlocked is a crematorium. And let's see. Cemetery here, cemetery here, but uh, zero crematoriums anywhere. And I think this area right here would benefit from such a service. And we're gonna put a crematorium right there. I think that's a perfect spot for it. And let's see, what else did we unlock? I think it was the 
Yep, garbage collector. So he, she, it, whatever you want to call it. We'll place four of those. They're going to help us clean up this uh, this area and the pollution and sewage. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll place three of them right there. They just to kind of sort of get a head start on cleaning up that area. And what else? What else did we unlock? I think it was the cryo preservatory, which I mean, I don't really do much with uh, with this building. It is It does give a health boost to the area I believe um, so I mean yeah we can we can throw it down oh there we go perfect fit right there that'll make some folks happy and voila we can resume the simulation so i'm actually kind of uh kind of excited to get to build this uh, university campus i actually thought about making this whole thing right here the university campus but then i said well that's a little bit too much room um let's go with uh, with something smaller so i think this uh, this little triangle piece of land is a perfect place to build the uh, the university over here yet i have not decided what we're gonna do so we'll just kind of sort of leave that blank for now. And then if we have enough time at the end of this episode, we're going to create a little leisure area just here under the train tracks coming alongside the, uh, the little riverside here. So that's kind of what, uh, what I have in store for you guys today. Let's go ahead and begin. And I think think before we do anything we're going to do a little bit of terraforming over here there we go we're going to go with large kind of select that height there increase the strength and then go to town now once we unlock that tile over there which i do plan on i'm buying that tile we're going to go ahead and um smoothen this out but for now it's just gonna have to stay so we'll come out to about there i think something like this i, I do know that i want it at an angle so let's i think that should be just fine there i think that's even enough room without having to mess with anything else let's see So we're going to use this uh, Modern Technology Institute. And we'll put it right. We can put it right there. I think that's that's going to be just a OK. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game for uh, for this. Um, the other thing, one of the reasons actually why I put in the on and off ramps here is um, because we're going to have a buses come from this area here and possibly even this area here. And bring some folks to the university here. So with that said, what we're gonna do here is a roundabout bus stop. So how that's gonna work is let me show you. Actually, I'm gonna turn off that. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm um, thinking about having the bus stop somewhere right over here. But then again, I don't want a whole lot of uh, blank space here. Let's see what we can use to kind of fill that area with. Look at that. What if we actually go with uh, Paradox Plaza? Ooh, that looks more campusy. I think we'll uh, we'll do that one. Uh, can we do two? We could. We could, but what I want to do is I want to have a uh, pathway from the bus stop, kind of coming over here to uh, to the university. 
So let's actually go ahead and uh, we'll do that right away. Oh, perfect. All right, that even hooks up nicely. Not too much gap. Uh, over here. Well, would you look at that? Oh, that is awesome. And then over here, we can uh, put in some trees. Actually. Nah, that, that'll, that'll take way too much time. I was gonna do a little bit of beautification with some tiles from uh, from one of the park DLCs, but uh, we'll uh, we'll leave that maybe for another episode. For now, we'll just uh, kind of focus on on the task at hand. Here is getting the university activated and up and running. And actually, what we can do, we can slightly move it to where it's hanging out to right there. And then what do we do here? What do we do here? What if we do just that right there for uh, for now? I think that should be uh, that should be fine. Um, over here, with this blank space, I do wanna I do wanna fill this in with something. Could we put a large park there? But not that one. What about the largest one? Will that fit? That oh, that that would barely fit if we had gone one more up but we didn't so we can't fit uh, that one uh, what else do we have that's large well uh, we have 266,000 let's take a look at some unique buildings and see if we can put something uh, something like that here city hall Let's see. Oh, that's nice. What is that? That's the fantastic fountain. Let's put a uh, fantastic fountain there. Before we do that, actually, we're going to upgrade that road there. I am going to get rid of the traffic lights there. Right, let's go back to our unique building, the fantastic fountain, and that's going in. There it is. Then it's got a uh, really cool look with the university there. Perfect. All right, and I think we need another pathway. And that pathway is going to go from... Come on. From there to there, and... It's gonna circle it. It's gonna circle it to about there, and then here we can uh, we can put in some trees or rocks or what have you. Let's put in some of these larger trees in there. That should be just a okay. This way, when you're entering the uh, the campus area, it's it's looking uh, it's looking kind of unique, kind of nice. And then we'll have to do something over here, and then something over here. But we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of see how everything progresses. Yeah, I could have sworn I had a, a water line here, but I guess not. There we go. Alright, and then we are going to need a little bit of power over here on this side and temporarily we're going to run power through there. 
And I do remember that we put a faculty building over here somewhere to serve. There it is right there to serve as a, as a education. And we're going to get rid of that. It doesn't look like we have some uh, serious demand for jobs. Let's go ahead and fill that in right there with some more offices. I think that should be just a okay. We're not going to zone anything there. And then we can do that. And that is this part of a district. Let's see. This is part of the district. And I think for here we have the North American. Yep. So the, these are going to come and look in looking like uh, like the North American offices, which is a okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put the game on three speed. I'm kind of kind of excited to see how this interchange is going to work before we forget as I almost just did is uh, let's go ahead and put in that bus route. And that is going to happen now. So I think a lot of these folks are okay walking to say about I want to say about why I don't really want to put another stop in there. <laughs> Let's see. I got a little bit of a jam here. What's going on, folks? Seriously, what is going on here? Oh, that's weird. Hopefully that'll uh, work itself out before this tail goes all the way down. All right, there's a little bit of movement. And I think that's due to, <laughs> there's a cop he just went through. I think that's, that was due to uh, maybe a car being stuck somewhere. I'm not 100% sure, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see how, uh, how that progresses. Where was I? Um, yes, I was about to create a bus line. Oh, by the way, we got to get rid of this. We got to move this somewhere. Uh, bus line, bus line, bus line, bus line. Bus line. All right, so let's. No, I don't really want to go from there, even though that is a good turnaround spot. Here we go. We're going to put a bus stop. Actually, we're gonna. Come on, give me a new line. There I was. There we go. Create a new line. We're going to go from here. Um, so yeah, everybody is going to have to come to this bus stop in order to go to the university. Uh, we're going to come and we're going to stop right there. And then we're going to make our way back. So straight shot. Let's do this so we can easily uh, turn around. There we go. So a straight shot from there to uh, to here. Let's take a look at this bus route. So that's the blue one here. It's got five vehicles. Actually, it's got 11 vehicles. I wanted to have only three for the time being. Let's also provide a bus route from here to here as well. And they're going to have to utilize this, um, this road here. So let's see, where's a good spot where we can put a, uh, a bus route. This is kind of sort of central, so we can do it from here and we'll 
we'll start we'll start right here so that means that we have to come all the way down this way let's for fun put a uh, stop right there we'll come and this one is actually gonna stop up here and then he is gonna come back down for fun we're gonna add a stop there we're gonna come around add a stop there and there no counterclockwise routes at this time i'm sorry clockwise and let's see if it'll highlight this one there we go and we're gonna want three buses for this route as well so this actually turned out uh turned out pretty nice no folks waiting at the bus stop just yet. And we have uh, we have a little bit of time. What I was thinking about doing, as I mentioned before, is uh, kind of starting over here in the leisure area, but now I've changed my mind. I wanna do a little bit of a uh, little bit of decor here. I'm just thinking exactly about how to do it. Oh wow! Look at our budget. We spent uh, we spent a whole bunch of money. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about what I want to do here. Okay, so over here we are gonna go ahead and put in like um like a little area where you can come and hang out, eat lunch and what have you all right i should have done this off camera by the way while i'm doing this let me tell you uh let me tell you guys what i did within these last couple of uh couple of days um as most of you know i had a laptop to kind of do the videos and, and the recordings and whatnot with uh, for uh, for the game. Um, I was talking to uh, to a buddy of mine, and he told me he had a um, he had a gaming PC. And well, actually, how the how the conversation went, if I recall correctly, is um, I told him that. Uh, the next thing that I purchase is uh, is going to be a more powerful PC, so I can uh, do uh, do more with with video editing and whatnot. Because right now I'm kind of really limited on what I can do with um, with what I currently have, and um, or with what what I had. So he mentioned he was like well what kind of a laptop do i do do you have so i told him what i had and uh, he was like well i might be interested in uh, in trading you my uh, my gaming pc for the the laptop that you have and i was like oh wow okay that's that's really cool um what kind of a uh, what kind of a gaming pc do you have and he was like well i've got this hp omen is what he had um and in really good shape and I think it was like a 2017 or 18 model or, or whatever it was so um we got to talking and we ended up trading so I gave him my laptop and uh he gave me his uh gaming pc and that is what I am currently using to record this video with so it's working out, uh, working out really cool. Um, works, uh, works well. I haven't rendered a single video yet, so that's going to be a little test that I put it through just to uh, to kind of see how that is, uh, how it's going to work, right? Hopefully, it'll be good, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So what I'm doing here is we're, we're just doing some basic, very basic decor. I can uh, 
almost guarantee you that nobody's going to come over here and use any of this but it's it's a nice looking area i think for uh, for those who do actually want to come out and maybe take a lunch hang out um we're, we're gonna go ahead and give them what is this a uh, kiosk let's say maybe this is like a, uh, a food vendor that's gonna be hanging out in there there's gonna be a couple of them actually we'll put one there that's another kiosk okay what is this oh this is the actual food the grill all right, so we'll put one of them over here as well, too. Why not? There we go. And I do recall that we had some. There they are. Benches and whatnot where you can come out and uh, sit and eat some food. So that's kind of what we're going to do there. Put a big old tree in there as well and the one there and over here we can actually go ahead and possibly run a fence perfect and let's see if we can meet up with it we can perfect curves a little bit but that's that is a-okay with me Let me put any of these guys in here we can't it's too close to the fence um, that's okay. I think that's, uh, that's gonna do what I want it to do. Or kind of what I had in mind. Wow, look at all these folks, uh, waiting for a bus. Cool. I think this area turned out, uh, turned out really nice. Um, some of you guys requested that we drive in the city. So you can see what it looks like. So let's uh, let's let's do that right now. So you're going to the university, and we're gonna have to apply some brakes over here, make a left, and there you have it. You've got the uh, the fountain there. You've got the food vendors and everything here. So let's go ahead and we'll we'll pretend like we're parking our car here. Come on. All right, now we're going to walk. And we're a lady, apparently. Well, that actually looks, uh, it looks really cool. Looks really cool, especially with the, uh, the fountain there and whatnot. Um, you've got the, the nice fence there as well. This area right here could use uh, could use a little bit more of uh, decor, but got some benches there. That is way cool. I actually really like how uh, how that turned out. I think this might be our screenshot for the video. All right, guys. So believe it or not, I'm actually on day two of recording this particular episode. Uh, last night when I was uh, trying to wrap up, the uh, the Elgato was giving me some serious issues. I don't know what in the world is, is going on with it, but it would start recording and then it would just lose connection for whatever reason. It's not it's not internet based. I'm thinking it's something with the cords that, uh, that might have gone wrong. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut the episode here. I think we made a little bit of progress today not a whole lot but a little bit hopefully in the uh, episodes to come we're gonna fill in this whole area here and uh go from there let's uh before we go let's check out the bus stops so not overly crowded which is good and the other thing actually um that i was thinking is if somebody from here wants to or from here wants to come and visit the fountain here which is our unique building and currently has 14 visitors, 11 tourists, success. Um, they can use the buses too if they want to come and visit that area. 
So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I will see you guys on the next episode.